mm, mm, mm. there is nothing better than that first sip of coffee first thing in the morning i always do a little happy dance when the coffee is hitting apparently i also do a happy dance whenever i eat really good food alex knows that i'm really enjoying my meal when i sit there like just doing this little happy dance but i feel like the happy dance is very much justified this morning when you look at that sunshine behind me we have got another beautiful spring day here and you know just what a good mood it puts me in and another reason why i'm in an excellent mood this morning you will know if you watched the end of the last video because right at the end of that video i made a bit of a revelation and a realization about the new house and i'm not entirely sure how much longer i'm going to be able to call it the new house house for because we have realized as of today we have been living in this house for exactly one year which literally it blows my mind it absolutely blows my mind like that year has just gone so quickly i cannot even tell you i still remember the day we moved like it was yesterday it was obviously so exciting we were going from this teeny tiny little two bed flat which we outgrew very very quickly into this insanely big three bedroom house and it just felt like such a huge upgrade and such a huge jump and i remember we had beautiful weather on that day as well we got really really lucky we were absolutely boiling when we were doing the moving i remember absolutely just like stripping off we had all of the doors and windows open our delivery guys were so amazing our removal men we used fantastic services and they really were fantastic like they got everything out of our flat within about two hours i remember we woke up that morning and we hadn't quite done absolutely everything like we didn't want to sleep on a mattress on the floor so we hadn't dismantled the bed yet and uh, we still needed to do a couple of like last minute things you know like shampoos things from the kitchen and stuff like that um and so we were like oh we'll have plenty of time when they're taking out a few of the boxes to like do that oh my goodness me they had the flat like almost half empty within about half an hour i mean alex both looked at each other like oh my god we need to um we need to speed up but they were so quick and like so efficient um and one thing that i did when we moved which i would definitely definitely recommend to anyone moving is to basically label every single box and label the rooms and i would say to label the rooms because there was a little bit of confusion with regards to which room was which because obviously it was just like three empty bedrooms at the time so i was like bedroom one bedroom two bedroom three and like a couple of times they got bedroom two and three mixed up so i would literally put it sounds so pedantic and they will probably laugh at you but you'll be grateful for it literally put a piece of a4 paper with bedroom one bedroom two and bedroom three on it um because they will be really grateful actually for it knowing exactly where you want things where you want wardrobes built where you want boxes put because obviously it's their job and they're so heavy and if you get it wrong and they get a box put in the wrong room it's a lot of manpower to get it into the next room like i literally had to wait every time to alex to be like i'm really sorry but i literally cannot lift this box can you put it in the other room because they got confused over which room to put it in so i would label every single box kitchen living room and then label every single room on the front door and like on the door of each room so that they know exactly where to put boxes because you will be so so grateful for it um, and one other thing is to also just let them do their job like I do remember having a conversation with a friend of mine and I was talking about how I just felt so helpless a lot of the time like when it came to getting things out of the flat it was a little bit different because obviously we were still packing up a few boxes we were dismantling the bed I felt like we were busy whereas when it came to the house all I could do was stand there and tell them where I wanted things put and like a couple of times I'd be like oh give me that you know I can do that that's not heavy and I'd kind of disappear into a room and then by the time I came back they would all be stood there like okay but where do you want this and so I realized very quickly that actually as much as you feel helpless doing that that is the most helpful thing to do so i literally would stand by the van and go living room kitchen living room bedroom one living room like honestly it was absolutely insane and we were so lucky to have had that snug which is obviously now alex's office because we used that as a dumping room for like the first month that we lived it maybe even two i don't think we actually made it into a proper room for about two to three months when we first moved in just because one thing that people said to us which we are also taking this advice with regards to our engagement is just to take your time with things like things don't need to be like done and dusted within a week like it's okay to do it slowly it's okay to learn how you use the house learn like what works where the light hits what you utilize what you don't utilize and just kind of like go slowly with it and i'm so glad that we did that because we have made so many changes since moving in i cannot even believe it and speaking of changes in the house, we actually have one very big, very exciting change that I have been looking forward to this arriving for so, so long. And it is from our favourites 
at Snug. Now you guys will know we replaced our sofa all actually not that long ago. It feels like we've had this sofa for literally ever. Like it just fits in this space so perfectly. I feel like it just really like completes the room. And it's actually quite funny how many like little changes we've made and how much it's kind of like added up to the big changes. Like we've really taken our time with things. We've added like small little increments of change and it just is kind of like pieced together really beautifully. So like first we did the, um, the coffee table I changed. Then we changed the sofa, then we changed like the artwork and things like that. And I really do feel like it's just made this space exactly what it is, which is what makes me so, so happy. And I absolutely love our sofa. I know a lot of you did like the old white Ikea one that we had, but if you saw it in person, I felt like it always looked better on camera. If you saw it in person, it just looked a little bit deflated. It was a little bit smaller and it was looking a bit old. And I feel like this new sofa don't know if I can still call it the new sofa, but this sofa really has just like re-energized and revitalized this space, which makes me so, so happy. So this is the Cloud Sunday from Snug. And if there's something that I felt like we were kind of missing that I wanted to add into our kind of Snug collection, if you will, is the footstool version. Now, I feel like there's a lot that we can do with this. And this is one thing that I really... I really value. I remember my mum used to do this and I never used to understand it. She'd really value being able to change things up depending on how many like guests you have round. And it wasn't until we kind of had a hosting house that I ever got that because obviously when we lived in our flat, it was just not big enough to host anyone. We literally could barely have guests round. Like it was a squeeze with two extra people in there. So we just couldn't really like host parties or dinner parties or anything like that. Whereas ever since having the new house, we've loved hosting we've had people around for sunday roasts for takeaways barbecues garden parties like we absolutely love it and this kitchen was just made for hosting we absolutely love it it really is perfect in terms of like some people can sit at the island some people can sit at the table you've got the sofa you've got the chairs we can open the bifold doors and create like a whole extra room outside like i just love it so so much um and one thing that i really value is being able to change things up for when we do have people around um and i really love having this chair in the corner because it's actually on wheels this is just a little Dunnell number and we can swing it around if we want to and it can be an extra chair for when you're watching TV and I'm really wanting to have like an extra footstool essentially so that we can use it I don't know if we want to use it like on the end where the sofa is um, where the TV is I don't know if we want to use it on like this side I just feel like it's nice to have something a bit more movable it's the only thing I don't like about having the chaise long is obviously it's stuck there and it's like not as easy to get like on and off of the sofa like if you're on the chaise long you're on there for the rest of the night you ain't moving I mean it's so handy in terms of storage but I just wanted to add something in that was maybe a little bit more kind of like mobile. So let's get unboxing this bad boy because I'm so excited for this new addition into the house. goodness me I am so so in love if you like our cloud Sunday sofa this is literally the exact sofa in an ottoman I just got Alex to come through and have a look I was like let me know what you think of the new um the new ottoman he was like it literally looks like you've just cut the chaise and put it there I was like yes that's kind of the point like it's supposed to be the exact same style shape and color so it obviously looks like it's all a part of the set I'm not gonna lie she was not easy to get out she was a lot heavier than I was expecting but I still managed to do it by myself, so I'm really proud of myself. Um, so as you can see, she's the really gorgeous, I think this is, in my head, I thought this was taupe. I've been telling you guys it's taupe. I think it's actually oatmeal. I don't think the Cloud Sunday comes in taupe. Um, so I'll confirm that down below in the description box. I will, of course, leave a link to her. But she also has storage underneath, which really, really excites me. We'll definitely be using that for, like, blanket storage. Because at the moment, all we use is this little, like, basket in the corner. And I feel like it always ends up looking really messy. So I think we need to have a bit of a resort out if you're wondering what this is. I remember, actually, 
I worked on this literally the week we moved in and it was probably the first piece of content to go live from the new house but it's a Koei like air diffuser and it works so well if you've got hay fever. We just put this on whenever Alex's hay fever is playing up and it just kind of like circulates the air, purifies the air and makes him feel so so much better. Um, so yeah it'll be nice just to replace that I think. So plan with this in case you're wondering what the plan is. Alex was like so where exactly is it gonna go because obviously it is quite big and I'm kind of thinking of putting it on the end here. Now, an option could be to replace the coffee table, but I do love our coffee table. I get a lot of questions from it. It looks so much more expensive than it actually was. It was from Next Home, and I picked it up for maybe four or five hundred pounds. It's not quite solid oak, but it looks like it is, and it is quite heavy, so it's a really great one to work on, to put your feet on. Like, it's a really, really fab one. What I'm thinking of doing is putting the ottoman here, I'm gonna have to see how it looks. We're gonna have to style it up a little bit because, as I said, it's something that my mum used to do, but I really like to make sure that there is just enough space for everyone and that no matter how many guests we come over, no matter how many people come round, there's always like seats for people to sit on and, I was actually inspired recently. We had some family come round and obviously normally this is just mine and Alex's chill out, relax, watch telly zone. But we actually sat and chatted because it was supposed to be nice weather and it wasn't. So we couldn't sit out in the garden and this became more of like a social chill zone. And what we actually ended up doing is grabbing the Dunelm chair from the corner and putting it here so we basically could all sit in a kind of like U shape and I was like I really like that that looks really cool but I can't put a chair in front of a TV but I did think I could put an ottoman then obviously it can be used as a chair someone can sit on it and additional bonus it does have storage so I'm gonna try it and style it up obviously let me know what you think you guys will always give me the best advice and the best opinions so I think it could work but I'm gonna have to see we're gonna have to try it okay what do we think of this i'm trying to get like as far back as possible obviously i've got the kitchen islands in the way of showing you the kind of like full scope but i really like it i actually think it really really works it's giving the vision that i wanted it to i feel like i need to do a little bit more styling with this corner and obviously you are going to have to ignore the fact that Obviously the sofa has been used, it has been sat on, it has been worn. The cushions are looking very like lived in. These cushions here are looking very perky on the ottoman. It's looking very upright. So we're gonna need to do a bit of jumping on this and a bit of kind of like wearing in. So excuse that. But the only thing that I think I kind of need to do with this corner is basically open it up a bit. I think this is just too messy and it's not really working. Obviously the blanket basket is going to go and all of the blankets can go inside of the storage of the ottoman. And I also think I want to replace these. These are some Ikea um, coffee tables that we got, which I have been wanting to replace since we got them, but they're actually really useful. I love this slot underneath. You'll be able to see it over here. We always use it for like putting in things like laptops and stuff because Alex and I are both sofa laptop people. Like we love doing work in the evenings. We'll sit on our laptops whilst watching films and stuff like that. So for that reason, they're really useful, but they are so ugly and I've really wanted to replace them for such a long time. So I think this is now gonna give me the real kick up the ass to get something to replace it. And I also think it shouldn't be up against this sofa. It should be kind of more in the middle. I'm thinking like a really gorgeous round dark wooden, or maybe I could get something to match this, coffee table or not coffee table kind of side table like antique I feel like maybe I can put some photos here right here <laughs> of exactly what I'm thinking and what I'm talking about because I think that would look really really lovely and would also make it more of like a unit rather than just I've put a, an ottoman here and a sofa here rather than kind of plonking it it was what I was speaking about the other day in my video when I was talking about the garden styling like Everything requires so much styling. You can't just plonk things down and just hope that they work. Like you really have to put so much thought into it. So I have put a lot of thought in wanting it to have the ottoman here. The only thing I will say, I understand the radiator is so ugly. Like I really, really hate the radiator, but unfortunately I don't live in an interior design magazine. This is my actual home, my actual house. This is an architecture's digest and radiators cannot be moved. So unfortunately that is always gonna be there, but I'm just gonna have to kind of like ignore that and just focus on the actual ottoman itself. And I do think it looks really, really lovely. What I've also done is basically just shifted the coffee table over a bit. So it's more kind of like central to all of it, which I really, really like. I love this coffee table so much. That I definitely didn't want to get rid of it and replace it for the sofa because I also think that would look too blocky. Having like, obviously the chaise long, having a big ottoman here, I think it would look too much like a kind of 90s sitcom sofa situation. And that's just not, not the vibe that I was going for. And I think it would also be too much of a block color. Obviously I love the oatmeal color, but having it completely taking over this side, 
I don't like. So I really love these like natural fibers and touches of natural um, fabrics. So that's again why I think the wood would work really, really well in this corner. So I think that stuff needs to go. And I think as soon as I tidy that up, it will kind of complete the area. Let me show you from this angle as well. I'm doing that thing where you know when you change things around and you've got to kind of look at it from every single angle. Like I really do think it's making it more of a unit and making it more of like a social area. So yeah, if we sit down, have people over, someone can just sit and chill there. We can put a couple of cushions behind their backs. They can lean back. And I think it really, really works. And then as I said, if we've got more people round, we can, I don't know, pull it out maybe to here. If we're having like a movie night, we can pull it round. Someone can sit here. We can fit about four people on the sofa. And then we've also got the chair in the corner. So it really is becoming such like perfect social space, family space and hosting area. Like this kitchen was just made for hosting. And I want to make sure that I'm almost like honoring that with all of the style and decision choices I am making with the house. Okay, this is more along the lines of what I was thinking with regards to this corner. I feel like even just making these small changes has just styled it up so much better. This is what I mean when I say styling is everything and obviously it will not be this table. I will replace this table but just to kind of show you the vibe of what I want and like the positioning that I want it to be. So we've gotten rid of the blanket box. All of the blankets are now in here which is fab. It is a little bit full so I did have to sit on it in order to shut it properly but that's absolutely fine. We can start sitting on this chair, utilizing it and making it look like the rest and don't worry I have left a little bit of a gap in case you're wondering between the um, ottoman and the radiator because I am not wanting to cause any fires in the house um so yes I always make sure to leave a little bit of a gap also if you're wondering what this is this is actually our doorstop for the door I find it really really handy because it kind of like blends in and you can just kind of like you know shuffle it about and just put it into the D, um door to keep the door open but just in case you're wondering what that is on the floor um but yeah I quite like that it blends like you can tell that I really love my natural fibers my woods my oaks I just absolutely adore them so I do think something to match this table would be so cool oh my god it would be amazing if I can get like a plinth to match it but I don't think they do that I'll have to have a little look on next time because this is a, not an easy coffee table to find I always get so many questions about it so many messages and whenever I try and find it for you guys it takes me hours so I literally have it like saved in a link in a highlight now because I can't link it on my LTK so I like have it saved in a note um so yeah, in case you're wondering, I'll see if I can find something similar or something that can match in this corner. I think that would look really, really good, but it's so nice to have the storage of the ottoman. And then obviously we've got the storage of the chaise long. And anyone who has a house that doesn't have a lot of storage will understand the importance of soaking up every single bit of storage that you can get. I'm actually so happy with how this little kind of area has turned out. I'm not gonna lie, I was quite anxious before doing this because I really wasn't sure if my vision was going to work. And obviously I do understand that it's never gonna be completely perfect in the sense of like, I can't get rid of that radiator. It's just something I cannot do. I feel like there's so much online that's just quite unrealistic when it comes to like home styling. And there's so many obviously like architectural digest magazines and home accounts that just doesn't actually show what it's like to live in a real house house and a real home and things like that are things that problems that you face and things that happen in real houses that maybe you can't change or you can't exactly like steer away from and it's something I was really anxious about whether people would be like oh my goodness you know that's awful because you've got the radiator there but I'm still just so happy with how it looks and I've actually been following something on Instagram that I would definitely recommend following I think it's hashtag small homes or something like that and I am loving it because I feel like there's just so much discourse online about these huge country estates these massive manor houses that people own and it kind of makes you feel like you failed if you're happy in your small house and as i said going from a two-bed flat to a three-bed house was such a huge jump for us like this house felt huge when we first moved in but i am aware it is just a little three-bedroom house down in hampshire in the new forest it's nothing grand or spectacular or ginormous or huge but it is just exactly what we need and it is our home and I take so much pride into making our home something to be so proud of I just want to walk in and feel you know when you just go oh, when you come home like that's the feeling I always want to get and I want people to come into my house and also get that feeling like I don't expect them to come in and go wow this is amazing this looks like something out of grand designs like I want them to come in and just go oh this is so lovely that's exactly what I want whenever it comes to my home styling so I feel like I have achieved that with just adding in a little change and styling up a little bit so that it's again guest worthy house worthy hosting worthy and just making sure that like everything that I'm doing is to kind of like 
make practical changes to the house as well as still being aesthetic and it's been really nice actually styling it up together i feel like it's been such a long time since we've like styled up some home bits together because as i said i've not been making as many like huge big changes because i'm quite happy with how the house is now and i'm quite happy with the kind of like style decisions i've made so even if i'm making little changes they're often just like small increments it's quite rare for me to do like a big style change up i do feel like this has just changed how this room looks it actually looks less cluttered in that corner weirdly i feel like i didn't realize how cluttered the like basket box and this um this what's this called side table were making this area but actually adding the ottoman and just kind of like opening up the space i feel like has actually made it look less cluttered in this corner so yeah i'm really really happy with how this is looking now oh my goodness me you guys are not ready for this delivery i feel like this has been a very home heavy vlog and if there's one thing that i find so important when it comes to styling myself within my home it is my pajamas i feel like pajamas are one of those things that's just so easily overlooked i feel like so many people i know will just use like a boyfriend's old t-shirt or like they let their pajamas just get a little bit bedriggled and it's been a real turning point for me when i discovered this brand because i feel like it's just shown me exactly what pjs should be like and what i was kind of like settling for before and i have some new pajamas to show you from my favorite brand cyber jammies you guys know how much i adore cyber jammies i discovered them maybe about three four years ago and every single like birthday or christmas me and my family always say we need a new set of pjs from cyber jammies and now that the weather is warming up i am looking to switch from my winter pjs to my summer pjs and i'm very much like a seasonal person with everything even nightwear so i wanted to show you what i picked up because oh my goodness me you're not ready so all of the pieces that I picked up are sets because I find it so important to sleep in a set. I'm very much that person where I feel like if I've got matching pieces, I feel so put together and that is the same for my pajamas and my underwear. So this first set I'm so in love with is actually a long pair of trousers and a really cute little short t-shirt. Now I really love these shirts. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like they make me feel elevated but they are still so comfortable and there's nothing worse you know when you've maybe got friends around you're having like a bit of a sleepover you've got people coming to stay there's nothing worse than getting into like ugly pjs i always like to make sure that i'm wearing something really really nice but is still super comfortable and i just fell in love with this set when i saw it like look at the print on that so it's this really gorgeous like light cotton which is so so lovely because it's perfect for spring summer it's actually perfect for now when maybe you're not wanting to quite wear shorts but you just want something a little bit more lightweight you're maybe getting a little bit hot at night so I just thought this was such a cute one. I'm so in love with the print. We've got like little zebras on it. We've got tigers, butterflies. It's like the cutest little jungle print I think I have ever, ever seen. Oh my goodness me. Next, this set is so stunning. Now this to me is like holiday in Italy. Look at the print on that. It's this really, really gorgeous like blue and white Italian print. I am so in love. So again, it's the same kind of fabric. That's like really lovely, lightweight cotton. It's actually got a really cute little like piping at the bottom. And what I liked about these, they're actually three quarter lengths. So it means for me, I'm not like treading on them or walking around with like the bottom bits trailing on the floor. Again, got an elasticated waistband, which I really, really like. I just feel like they look so cute. And I love the shirt on this as well. Another little short sleeve number. And I just thought it was so, so cute. And again, just looks so paired together. And what I really liked about this set is it actually came with a matching dressing gown. Look at this oh my goodness me you guys know how much i adore my dressing gowns from cyber jammies i just feel like it's so nice to have some really lovely lightweight dressing gowns because i'm the kind of person that when i come down in the morning for a cup of tea i just want to come down throw something on and like make my tea but sometimes you don't want to be wearing something like really thick and like heavy especially at this time of year so these are so lovely because they are the exact same material as the pjs just chuck it over the top and you just look like so pulled together which i really really like and i'm just so in love with the fabric it's so lightweight really really soft and perfect for this time of year I then picked up a couple of sets from my favourite range that Cyber Jammies do. Now, this is their jersey range. And when I say these are the softest pyjamas I have ever owned, I am not joking. Like, these are just the cosiest, softest, loveliest thing ever. And I actually got these in the short set. So I do have the long versions of um, these ones for the winter. And then I like the short versions for the summer. So super breathable, super cute. Like, look at the 
piping on that is that not just absolutely adorable and i love the fact that they all have the little tie as well at the waist but oh my word whenever i wear these i've always said to people oh my god feel my pajamas feel my pajamas they're so soft and i've converted so many people to side pajamas so i picked them up in the navy blue and the stunning olive green which oh my word look at this it's like the most beautiful like muddy green color and i love the piping on this because it's not actually white it's almost like a beige color i mean the piping on it just makes it look so like smart and structured but i cannot even tell you how soft these are so this is another set that has got the short sleeve shirt and then we have also got the cute little shorts to match and then as I said, I also picked up a couple of bits for Alex. So I'll just show you the bits that I got for him because he also loves cyber jammies. Like the men's stuff is also so, so soft. So I've got this really gorgeous, like kind of tealy blue color, which I really liked. I just thought that was so lovely. And then we also have, I did get this one as a set. Yes, it comes with a cute little matching pair of shorts. And look at those. Are those just not absolutely adorable? I love the fact that they've got the stretch. They're like a really lovely length for him because he does struggle having longer legs it can be really really tricky to get pjs that aren't like mini mini shorts but i just loved the check print on them and look how cute this looks as a set together and then i also picked up the same set in the black so it just comes with this little black t-shirt they just look like normal t-shirts like you could literally you could easily wear this around the house just like as your comfies on like a sunday or something but i really liked the fact that this one came with longer trousers so i got the black long trousers for him and i just thought these were so perfect again for this time of year when you want something a little bit lighter but maybe you're not quite ready for shorts and i just love these they've got pockets they're like this really lovely cotton fabric they're like the two first sets that i showed you like a really lovely lightweight cotton super comfortable to sleep in and they still look really lovely and on that note i am going to get my makeup off i'm going to get myself into a new pair of pjs i think i'm going to jump in the shower put on a fresh new pair of pajamas and hunker down with our new snuggly sofa setup i am so looking forward to a movie night tonight guys it is official i feel like it cannot be denied anymore it is iced coffee season and i could not be happier i'll still be flitting between hot coffees and iced coffees but my goodness me is this an absolute game changer this morning i just woke up and i was like you know what i'm in the mood for an iced coffee i don't even care if it's technically not warm enough because we still haven't hit like above 20 degrees here in the uk but i was just mm. I was really craving an iced coffee this morning and I made it really lazily this morning. I went and I literally just added my milk straight to the coffee. It's the one thing I will say about my Nespresso machine. Actually, let me grab this because this is a game changer. If you are someone that really likes iced coffees, but you also, oh, it's just like right on top of the cupboard. But if you also really like to have a frothy coffee, I should probably get this out if I'm gonna be doing more iced coffees. This is the Nespresso milk frother. And obviously it's fab if you are just doing like a normal latte, a hot coffee and everything like that. But it's also great at doing cold frothy coffees, which is the one thing that my coffee machine doesn't do. It has the milk frother, but there's like no option to do the milk frothing cold which is really really annoying so i'm not gonna lie just did it really lazily this morning and added the milk straight in but what i like to do if i'm wanting more of like a nice coffee you know like a bit more of an experience i'll use my milk frother and what you do is normally if you are doing the frothy milk hot you just press this if you press it and hold for like two three seconds the light will go blue and then it actually froths the coffee but cold so if you're someone that likes lattes you like frothy coffees and you like iced coffees this is amazing and i don't think it's that expensive so i'll leave one linked down below um, because it is absolutely amazing but for now i'm just enjoying my very basic iced coffee this morning but i actually had a new delivery arrive this morning that i wanted to unbox with you guys because as we are coming into the spring and summer months we are planning a lot of hosting as i've been saying a lot and actually i'm really really excited because we've just had confirmation from alex's parents that they are coming to visit for a few days in a couple of weeks which will be so so lovely because we've not seen them since goodness me like january so it'll be really lovely to spend a good few days with them so they'll be staying with us 
and it means that the new furniture situation and the new furniture setup will be perfect. As I said, what I like to do is just like pull this chair over, it means someone can sit there, you can fit like two, three people on the sofa, and then we've obviously got the new footstool as well, so we'll be able to show them all of the new setups that we've got around the house. But I'm just like holding this really randomly as I'm chatting. This is a delivery that I had. I actually got reached out to by this brand on Instagram. They asked me if I wanted to try them. Now this is box tails ready to pour cocktails to your door. Let me get some scissors. So from the sounds of it, they are literally like box cocktails. And what I really like is it slips through the latter box. I'm not gonna lie, it gave me the biggest fright yesterday when we just had this like bang at the front door and it was the postie slipping this through our letter box. But look at that on the back. There's like loads of different cocktails that you can choose from. And oh my goodness, this is so cool. They are literally just in these pouches like this, which is absolutely amazing. I love the sound of it. So we've got loads of different cocktails here. First of all, we've got a woohoo. Oh my goodness, I do actually love a woohoo. So it says, store in a cool, dry place, best served chilled and over ice. Once open, keep refrigerated and consume within three days. I'm not entirely sure how many drinks this does. I'm going to assume it's just one drink each. So we've got a woohoo here. We have got an English garden. I've never tried an English garden cocktail before. That sounds absolutely amazing. And I'm assuming that like all of the alcohol is in here because it does say on each one of these. Um, oh yeah, look, it actually tells you the alcohol contents. 12% on this one. 12% on this one, they all say 18 plus on them. We've got a strawberry daiquiri. Oh my goodness me, do you know what would be amazing as well? Blending some ice, or we could even use like the Nutri Bullet and blend this together with some ice to make it a bit more of like a kind of like smoothie type thing, a slushy. so that sounds amazing. My favorite cocktail, a classic mojito. I know it's a basic bitch cocktail, but I love it. I absolutely love it. So we've got a mojito in there. And speaking of mojitos, I really, I'm wanting to get some mint for the house so that I can use them in cocktails because I love a mojito. Um, so that will be my one that I go to. We've got an espresso martini. Alex loves an espresso martini. And then we have also got a Mai Tai. So basically all of the classic cocktails here, which sounds so, so exciting. And there's like not exactly many instructions. So I think it is literally a case of keeping them refrigerated so they're nice and cold and then cutting it open and pouring it in a glass. So I love the sound of that. I think that will be so, so handy for when we have lots of people around and we start doing our summer hosting because it really is going to be the summer of hosting in the new house. Can't call it the new house anymore, but I'm really excited. Now you can probably tell that it's not quite as sunny today as it was yesterday. However, I'm still manifesting the spring sunshine with a little bit of a spring haul. I've been doing just a little bit of shopping on Karen Millen. I've seen a couple of dresses on there that I just fell in love with. So I've got three dresses to show you, which I feel like are going to be such beautiful spring summer pieces, like really epitomizing my style and what I want to be wearing in the months coming. So let me show you what I picked up. Now this first dress I actually think is kind of perfect for a day like today because it's a little bit thicker than a lot of my other spring summer dresses. It's kind of perfect on a day that's a little bit chillier, a little bit more overcast, but you still want to be wearing those like bright spring colors. I know that I love black for spring summer, but not everyone does. So if you're wanting to like incorporate those blues and those whites and those like very spring summer tones, I think this dress is absolutely perfect. It's a really, really gorgeous shirt dress, which is what made me fall in love with it. It's got like a very, very full skirt, but I really liked the fact that it had more of like a priest collar rather than like a proper fold over collar if you can see so you can wear it like fully done up if you want like a really preppy style and I love the fact that it's got like the long sleeves it's belted there are so many design details to this that I absolutely love now this dress to me is the epitome of like an ageless dress this is the kind of thing that I feel like you can wear no matter how old you are obviously I'm in my 20s but I can definitely picture people in their 30s 40s 50s even 60s wearing this I actually have an auntie who's in her 60s and I can so imagine her wearing this dress she has such amazing style and I feel like she would absolutely love this and I also love the paisley print that it's got going on. It's kind of similar to the Saint Sophia one that I picked up recently with these kind of like paisley design details, which I really, really like. So it's not like a ditzy floral, it's not too feminine, but it's very elegant and classy, which is what I really, really liked about this. So I think this is going to be a dress that I reach for a lot this spring. Well, I think we can all agree that it doesn't get much more timeless and classic than this. And my favorite part about the dress, 
it has pockets oh my goodness me does this not just like change a dress like it literally takes it from whatever it is out of 10 to an immediate 10 out of 10 but no seriously i do love the dress i feel like the design detail on it the pattern the print is just beautiful love the fact that it's like very summery without being too girly i know not everyone loves a ditzy floral print like me so if you want something that's maybe giving that kind of like natural elements but not floral not ditzy this is definitely the dress for you love the belt detail love the way that it just kind of cinches in your waist but it's very like subtle it doesn't detract from the dress at all and these kind of like structured shoulders i just absolutely adore you know how i feel about something that elevates your body and i always feel like a bit of structuring really helps to elongate your torso and pull the eye up which is just everything that i look for i also love the fact that the sleeves are cuffed i don't speak about this a lot actually but i do find that cuffed sleeves kind of make your arms look a bit longer like it just really really helps with making sure that your arms aren't being swallowed by the sleeves but it's still elongating and flattering so this is one of those dresses that i think it's just such a perfect summer dress this is definitely a good hosting dress as well because obviously the cuffs means that you've got your arms free like you know nothing's going to kind of like get into food there's nothing i hate more than when you've got like flappy sleeves and they get into the food like it's very comfortable easy to wear you can chuck things in your pockets i just think it's such a beautiful dress so i'll leave it linked down below because i can imagine a lot of you guys are going to love this okay, this dress is going to be a little bit tricky to show you because obviously it is a halter neck so they always kind of look a little bit weird on the hangers so you'll have to see the full effect when i try this on but we have a very summery number next and i just fell in love with this first of all this green embroidered detail oh my goodness me can we just take a moment it is so so beautiful to me this almost looks like handmade which i just think is so so special and i love a white halter neck in summer it's just one of those designs that is so classy it's so classic like it doesn't date it's not like a trend led design this is the kind of style that you can bring out of your wardrobe year on year on year and i love the fact that it's like more of a maxi length it's got a tiered detail on the skirt which i absolutely adore and i just thought this was such a fab addition into my summer wardrobe maybe not possible to wear just yet but as soon as the weather heats up i will be bringing this out oh my goodness another absolutely beautiful number just the way that this dress moves i am so so in love with it and i just adore the embroidery that it's got this like green embroidered detail the fact that it kind of continues on the skirt i just think makes it look so much more expensive the one thing i will say about this dress is it's actually a little bit big i don't know if you can see but it kind of could come in do you see quite a lot more? I think I picked this up in my normal size. I think I got it in a 12, but I will leave it down below in the description box along to the link to this dress because you might want to look at sizing down. I think I'm going to have to return it and get the size down because it's just ever so slightly loose. But that being said, it does make it very comfortable. So it's depending on what you're looking for this summer. Now, I do have it on with flats at the moment. I've just got my little Chloe slides, but I think I will have to wear some heeled espadrilles just to get it off the floor a little bit because there's nothing worse than when your dress is just about hitting the floor it kind of like ends up with that horrible you know like mud mark at the bottom so i think just a little bit of elevation will be perfect for this dress so i'll have a look at what size it is but i definitely think i'm personally going to size down at one size depending on whether i got 14 or 12 cannot remember but other than that i think it's just so beautiful and such a perfect dress for summer and I'm not gonna lie, I saved the best till last. We've got another halter neck number, but this one's slightly different, not just because the straps are a lot thicker than the last one, but just in the kind of like design detail to it in the sense that it is completely plain, completely plain, but we all know it wouldn't be a petite alley haul without a little white dress for summer. You know they're just my absolute favourites. I really, really love a white dress that just has no detailing to it, like no pattern, no print, it's just completely stripped back and classic i absolutely love that and this i just feel like is the kind of dress that again it's an ageless design you can wear this in your 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s even 70s i think we got up to 70s last time but honestly you can wear this no matter how old you are no matter what age you are i feel like halter necks are very flattering on a lot of different shapes as well which is what i really really liked about this and again it's got a bit more of a kind of like tiered detail to the skirt so we have the slightest bit of design detail the tearing in the skirt which is great elevating our bodies and making us look taller which you know that i am all about so another dress that i just thought was such a perfect addition into my spring summer wardrobe this is the kind of thing that i like i'm just so excited to wear as soon as the sun decides to finally come out and stay out and we hit that like 25 to 30 degree temperature here in the uk 
this is the perfect dress to wear for that. Oh my goodness me, I think we can agree that I have saved the best till last. I mean, look at this absolute beauty. I mean, this is just the epitome of a little white dress for summer. Just so classic, so minimal, but like really, really chic. I love it. You know, I love the tiered detail on the skirt. It really helps like elevate the body. And because it obviously comes quite high up on the neckline, I feel like it's so elongating, makes you look so much taller. I also love the fact that it's got the open back detail, which is gorgeous. You can see the label just sticking out there. I can definitely cut that off because this dress is definitely staying in my wardrobe. But I always love an open back detail. I think it's just so elegant for summer. And the length is gorgeous. Like, it just hits the floor. And all I'm wearing is my little Chloe slides, which are probably some of the flattest shoes I own. So if I wanted to get it off the floor, I could easily just wear my Castagna espadrilles. But actually, the way that it just about hits, I'm kind of okay with. Um, and if you don't know my size, I am five foot exactly for reference so as long as you're taller than me then this will be perfect on you I think if you're like 5'2 this will be the most perfect length on your body but oh my word I'm so in love with it I just think this dress is absolutely beautiful I just want to live in this this summer oh my goodness me I did not quite realize how long this vlog had gotten but I feel like there's just been so much newness to show you we've had home bits fashion bits like this is my favorite kind of video we've just had a big mix of everything so I'm gonna leave the vlog here before it gets any longer if you made it to the end first of all give yourself a round of applause second of all leave me the word hosting down below because we are entering hosting season and I am so so excited for it so I really hope you guys have the loveliest evening and I'll see you in my next video bye